Hello, Andres. Good morning. Ricardo Damero, good morning. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Welcome to your EFL class. Yes. Week number five. This one is the first class. Excellent. Okay. Good job. So let's see. Carlos Arias, welcome. Christian. Gerard, welcome. Adriana Barahona, welcome. Good job. Okay, excellent. Maria Navas, welcome. Okay, welcome to your EFL class. Nice, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Let's start, okay, making a review of the vocabulary. Yes? Okay, yes, Harrison. Okay, let me check. Can you activate your sound right now, please? Ah, a mí eso le quise preguntar en la página 8, en el ejercicio 1, si lo puedo hacer con plumón, porque cuando, cuando lo hago con lápiz no se ve tanto. Ah, ok, thank you. Ok, remember, you work with pen, ok, con lapicero, yes. Ok, if we need color, you need the first exercise. Yeah, you can draw with marker. Yes, it's possible. Yes, Harrison. Ok. Excellent. Daniela Borja, welcome. Mia Rivera, welcome to your EFL class. Okay, Mario, welcome. Excellent. So let's see, let's start. First one, we make a review, okay, of the vocabulary that we studied the last week. Okay, let me check. This one, feather duster. Okay, do you remember what is that? Feather duster, feather duster. Okay, we use this one for cleaning the furniture. Yes, okay, feather duster. Okay, excellent. Good job. Let's see. Next, this is rag. Okay, what is rag? In Spanish, trapito. Yeah, this one is a rag. Also, you use for cleaning, okay, the furniture, the table, etc. When you spill, uh, let me see, a drink. It's possible to use this one. Excellent. Then we have mop. Okay. What is mop? Is the supply that you use for mopping the floor? Yes. Okay. Good job. Next one. We have leash. Leash. Okay. Excellent. You use this one for. Okay. For giving. Oh, for walking the dog, exactly. In Spanish, Ivania says Correa, Carlos Hermanos says Correa, yes. Okay, and we have next, bucket. What is that? Bucket. This one is a container, yes? You can put some water here and you use for washing the car, okay? Exactly, bucket, cubeta. Okay, then we have broom, okay, broom. This one is another supplies that you use for, okay? For brooming the garbage, exactly. Okay, so let's see, next. This action, set the table, yes? Okay, before your lunch, before your breakfast, your dinner, you set the table. Let's see, next one, mop the floor, what is that? Okay, mop the floor. When you clean the floor, you use the mop, exactly. Make the bed, okay? During the morning, the first thing that you do is make the bed, excellent. Okay, dust the furniture. For that reason, you use the feather duster, yes? Okay, because you dust the furniture. Next one, okay. Bacon the, clean, uh, the carpet. Yes, you use an electric machine and you clean the carpet with that machine. Nice. Then walk the dog. For that reason, you use the leash. You use the leash for walking the dog every day or maybe one time per week. 
Then we have sweep the floor. Remember, this section is different. We have mop the floor and sweep the floor. Yes, both are different actions, are similar but different. Then we have take out the garbage. Okay, maybe three times per week, we take out the garbage. Yes, when we hear the bell, tiling, 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 okay, you know that you need to take out the garbage. And the last one, wash the dishes. Yes, okay, good job. After your lunch, after your dinner, after your breakfast, we wash the dishes. Excellent, okay, so let's see. Good job. Okay, do you hear very well? Me escucha bien, chicos? Que veo un poquito aquí como freeze la pantalla. Yes, okay, excellent. Okay, nice, excellent. So let's see. Now we start, okay, first one we practice the vocabulary of the unit because it is necessary to remember, yes? Okay, so let's see. Let me check right now this part, excellent. And now I share with you. Let's see, okay. In this class, we study have to questions yes remember the last class we studied the have to is when you you need to do something like an obligation or okay an activity that you help other person okay let's see in that part okay first one we start with this activity okay you guess the member of the family in the first example says your mom and dad also call your parents yes okay we studied the relatives or the family members then number two, your mom or dad's father is your, okay, think about that. This one is the father of my mom or my dad. So that's mean is my, what is the answer? Okay, raise your hand if you have the answer, please. Your mom's or dad's father is your, okay. Okay, Mia Rivera, give me the answer, please. Okay, activate your sound and give me the answer. Grandfather. Exactly, okay, my grandfather. My grandfather is mom's or dad's father. Excellent. Next one. Okay, this is mom or dad's sister. That's mean, is your Okay, this one is a sister of my mom or my dad. So think about that. Who is she or who is he? Okay, in that case, it's who is she? Okay, Daniela Marin, tell me the answer. Okay, Adriana, tell me. Then Daniela. Aunt. Okay, let me see. Yes, this one is my aunt. Okay, your brother or sister's son is your... Okay, Daniela Marin. Okay, this is the son of my brother and my sister. That's mean it's my, what do you think of the answer? Okay, Danny. Okay, maybe we have some problem with the connection, yes? Okay, Adriana Barahona, tell me, what is the answer? And then Mario. Uncle. Uncle, let me check. Okay, this one is that my brother or sister's son is. Let's check. Okay, Mario, tell me. Cousin. Okay, let me check. Okay, let's see. My brother or sister's son. Okay, el hijo de mi hermano y de mi hermana, que es mío, in Spanish. Mi sobrino, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see, next one. Your mom or dad's mother is your... Okay, Ivania. Grandmother. Okay, grandmother. Let me check. Yes, it's the grandmother. Your mom's or dad's brother is your... Okay, Mario. Uncle. Ah, exactly, okay. 
his uncle. Your brother or sister daughter is your brother or sister's daughter is your Okay, Ivania, tell me. Okay, right now, Ivania. Can you activate the sound? Yes. Okay, let's see. Your brother or sister daughter is your Ok, la hija de tu hermano o de tu hermana es tu sobrino, ok. And your aunt and uncle's children are your cousins, ok. So these one are the answer, good job. So we study the vocabulary of our family members, yes. Ok, why? Because in this exercise, the exercise that you have on page number eight, ok, you need to follow the family members and you need to draw the path. Yes, for example, we have dad, Ali, mom, Travis, grandpa, and we have grandma. For that reason, we have studied the family members. Yes, because we need to draw the path. Okay, what are the activities that they develop? Let me check. For example, dad. Okay, dad, in that case, wash the dishes. Okay, so you draw the path, please. Draw the path right now. Dad have to wash the dishes. Dad have to wash the dishes. Follow the, the path, please. And look, okay, what is the best? Uh, let me see, drawing. Dad have, has to wash the dishes. Okay, let's see. Next one, second. Let's see, Ali has to in that case, walk the dog. Ali has to walk the dog. Okay, follow the path. Ali has to walk the dog. Ali has to walk the dog. Next. Okay, mom has to set the table. Mom has to set the table. Mom has to set the table. Excellent. Now we have Travis. Travis has to bake on the carpet. Travis has to bake on the carpet. Okay, Travis has to bake on the carpet. Grandpa has to mop the floor. Grandpa has to mop the floor. Grandpa has to mop the floor. And grandma has to, in that case, take out the garbage. Grandma has to take out the garbage. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see, and this one? are the actions, yes? Okay, as Herson Andres said, okay, you can draw the path with markers. Yeah, it's not necessary that you develop with pencil, maybe with marker with different colors. Okay, let's repeat one more time. Dad has to wash the dishes, okay? Then Ali has to walk the dog. Mom has to set the table. Travis has to bake on the carpet. Grandpa has to mop the floor. And grandma has to take out the garbage. Yes? Okay, excellent. Let's see, good job. Nice. Okay, did you complete this part? Yes? Okay, now we can continue. Let's see. Okay, we study the last class have two, okay? And we have positive, that's mean affirmative. We have a negative, we have interrogative sentences, and also we have the answers. Okay, for affirmative sentence, we says, he has 
to wear a uniform, okay? That means something that I need to do, okay? He has to wear a uniform. In your case, okay, some years ago, you had to wear a uniform, but nowadays, no. Okay, next, we have a negative. He doesn't have to wear a uniform, okay? That's mean it's not a possibility, okay? He doesn't have to wear a uniform. If you check the helping word or the auxiliary, okay, doesn't, you use with third person. That's mean he, she, or it, okay? And that, and do, we use with plural. They, you, we, etc. Then we have the interrogative sentences. We use the auxiliary. Okay, check this part. This one is important, please. Okay, this auxiliary, that's mean does, okay, we use in third person. Does he, in that case, he is a third person pronoun. Does he have to wear the, a uniform? In that case, the verb is the main verb. Okay, we don't use has, why? Because does, okay, make the function of the person. For that reason, we write, does he have to wear a uniform? Okay, then we have A, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. This one are short answer, yes? Okay, wait, Carlos. I give you the instruction when you copy, but right now, no. Okay, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. This one are short answers okay you don't need more information you only answer yes he does no he doesn't have to is not an auxiliary verb okay use do or did in negative and question that's mean you use the auxiliary does for forming the questions okay you don't say he had not to wear a uniform it's impossible to say that he didn't have to wear a uniform okay this one is in past Okay, so let's see. This one is not an auxiliary. When is an auxiliary do or does for making the question? Okay, let's check right now. For example, this one. We use had to, this one is in past to talk about the past and we have to to talk about the future. Okay, and this one are two examples. Yesterday I had to go to the dentist. I will have to speak to her tomorrow. Okay, and the most common questions are, do we have to call early? Okay, so you, know, you notice in that part, we use the auxiliary. Okay, in that case, do, yes, do. We start with the auxiliary, do. Then, okay, we add the pronoun, that in this case is we, then we add the expression, have to, and then we add the complement that is call early. Do we have to call early? And you can answer, yes, I have to. Oh, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. And this is gonna show sure answered, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see, now we continue. Let me check this part. Okay, so we have different activities here and we make sentences explain what Lisa and Tim have to or don't have to do. This one is a practice. You don't have this one on your book, yes? Okay, for example, we make a question. Let me see. Okay, if I do the first one. Okay, does Mario have to make a cake? Okay, maybe we can answer yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Okay, this one is only an example. We use the auxiliary does, Okay, according to the question, then the name, in this case is Lisa or maybe Tom. We can say, does Lisa have to make a cake? And we answer, yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Yes, okay, this one is an oral practice. It's an ejercicio oral, chicos. Okay, let me check. Mm, okay, let me see. Okay, Carlos, I start with you. Let's see, pay attention, okay? And see your screen. Okay, activate your sound, please. Okay, mm -hmm. let me see. Okay, does Tom have to make a cake? Does mm -hmm. Tom no. have to make a cake? No. No. Mm -hmm. No, he... He 
No, he doesn't. Okay. No, he doesn't. Only short answers. Good job. Okay. Let's see now. Let me see. Mario and Daniela Marin. Okay, Mario. You ask the question and Daniela Marin answer. Okay. So let's see. Number two. Okay, Mario. Does does do the homework? Okay, does choose one name. Could be Lisa or maybe Tom. Does Lisa or Tom? Lisa. Okay. What is the question? Does Lisa? Okay, Mario, activate your sound. Excellent. Okay. Does Lisa? Does Lisa have to? Have to? Do the homework? To the homework. Okay. What is the answer, Daniela Marin? Yes, she does. Okay, yes, yeah. she does. Excellent. Okay, now Daniela Marin, you ask Mario. Okay, but right now with, with Tom, with information of Tom, yes. Do Tom has to wash the car? Okay, let's repeat. Does Tom does Tom has to wash the car? Okay. Does Tom have to wash the car? What is the answer, Mario? Okay, let me see. Okay, does Tom have to wash the car? In that case is, yes, he does. Okay, so you need to check the information of every student. Okay, you have Lisa and you have Tom. Yes, okay, you have here the answer in the first column, you have the answer of Lisa, that it is yes or no, and you have the answer of Tom, that it is yes or no, yes. Okay, so let me see, Marcos, and let me see next participant. Okay, Ivania Mejia, activate your sounds, please. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Number three, wash the car. Okay, Marcos, you ask. First one. Does Lisa have to wash the car? No, she does. No, she does. No, she doesn't. Exactly. Okay, now you ask. Okay, Ivania. Um, Tom does Tom to, to does wash Tom. the car? Okay. Um, wash the car. Tom does have to wash the car. Okay, Tom doesn't have to wash the car. Exactly. Good job. Let's see. Next participant. Okay, let me check in that part. Okay, Mia Rivera. Activate your sound. And let me see Ari, please. Activate your sounds. Okay, excellent. Mia, you start with number four, yes? Walk the dog. You choose if it is Lisa or maybe Tom. Um, Lisa, walk the dog. Okay, that's Lisa. Does Lisa have to walk the dog? What is the answer, Ariela? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Okay, excellent. Now, Ariela, you ask to Mia Rivera, yes? Does Tom walk the dog? No, he doesn't. Okay, no, he doesn't. Good job, okay? Remember, we use auxiliary have, okay? Does, uh, let me see, Tom have to walk the dog? Okay, excellent, good job girls. Let's see right now, Daniel and Ricardo Gamero. 
Activate your sounds, please. He. Um, Number five, he, study history. He used to the story. Okay. Let me see, Daniel. Activate your sound and your answer, please. Okay, Ricardo, let's repeat. Does. Does you study story? Okay, does Lisa. Lisa. Have to. Have to. Study history. Study hi history. History. Okay. Okay, Gerard, please activate your sound. And answer to Ricardo. What is the answer? Hello? Yes, she Hello? does or no, she doesn't. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, Gerard, what is the answer? Ricardo ask you, okay, does Lisa have to study history? Yes or no? No. No, she? No, she is She doesn't. Okay, no, she doesn't study history. Okay, excellent, good job. So let's see, check this one, okay? It is necessary that we practice the short and the long answer, but in this case, short answer, yes? Okay, so we practice more, wait. We pass this exercise and now we share the exercise that you have on your book for practicing more and then we develop this one. Okay, so let's see, you have this one on your book. This one is on page number eight, yes? We look at answer the questions. Okay, according to the image that you have at the beginning of the page, we answer the question that are presented on your book. Number one, does dad have to walk the dog? What is the short answer? Okay, yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Does dad have to walk the dog? According to the image that you have here. Okay, Daniela Marin says, yes, he does. Let me see. Okay, no, he doesn't in that case. What is the activity that that developed? Okay, dad in that case has to wash the dishes. Okay, that, okay, he doesn't walk the dog because dad have to wash the dishes, okay? Remember, you need to check this picture, the picture that you have here at the beginning of the page, yes? And then and we need to check the activities that all the family members develop. And according to this one, we answer the question that we have in that part. Okay, let's see. Number two, does Ali have to wash the dishes? What do you think? Does Ali have to wash the dishes? No, she doesn't, says here. Okay, let me check if it is no, she doesn't. Let me see. No, she doesn't, exactly why? Because Ali has to walk the dog. Exactly, Ali has to walk the dog. Number three. Does mom have to set the table? According to the picture, does mom have to set the table? Okay, what is the answer? Yes, she does, says Mia Rivera. Okay, Daniela Marin says yes. Yes, she does, exactly, okay. Excellent, so let's see. Remember, this one are short answers. This one is the short form. Does Travis have to bake on the carpet? Does Travis have to bake on the carpet? Okay, check what is the action that Travis develops. So how to do? Okay, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, says Mia, Ivania, Diego. Okay, let me see. Yes, he does, exactly. Okay, Travis has to Take on the carpet. Number five. Does grandma have to mop the floor? 
Does grandma have to mop the floor? What do you think? Okay, check the activity, check the path. Okay, grandma, let me see. No, she doesn't, no, she doesn't, no, she doesn't. Okay, the answer is no, she doesn't. Why? Because grandma has to take out the garbage, okay? Grandma has to take out the garbage. And number six, does grandpa have to take out the garbage? Does grandpa have to take out the garbage? No, he doesn't. Okay, no, he doesn't. Let me see. No, he doesn't, exactly. What is the action that grandpa developed or has to do? In that case, grandpa has to, okay, mop the floor, exactly. Has to mop the floor, yes. Okay, that's me, number one, no, he doesn't. Number two, no, she doesn't. Number three, yes, she does. Number four, yes, he does. Number five, no, she doesn't. And number six, no, he doesn't. Okay, good job. Excellent. So let's see. Now we practice one more time the question, but in that case, orally. Okay, so playing a guessing game with a friend. Do you have to wash the dishes? Yes, I do. Okay, you have the short answer. Okay, let me see. I'll show you, okay, the expression, and you have to ask the question. Okay, let's check. Let's start. Okay. Maria Gnavas, please activate your sound. Okay, give me the question for this expression. Take out the garbage. Do you take out the garbage? Okay, excellent. Daniela Borja, answer it, please. Do you have to take out the garbage? Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Good job. Okay, now Daniela Borja. Okay, ask this question. Okay, activate right now the sound. Do you have to sweep the floor? Okay, do you have to sweep the floor? Let me check. Okay, Esther Hueso, do you have to sweep the floor? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, Esther Cita, please ask this question with this expression. Okay, no, let me check. Okay, let me see. Fernando, please activate your sound and give me the question to this expression. Walk the dog. Okay, Fernando. Is it possible that you activate your sound? No? Okay, let's see. Let me check. Okay, Adriana, please, and Daniela Marin, okay? Let's see, Adriana, you ask, and Daniela, you answer. Okay, Adriana, give me the question. Do you have to walk the dog? Okay, no, Daniela. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, <laughs> now, next one, Daniela. You ask this question. Do you have to vacuum the carpet? Okay, let me see. Okay, let's check answer. Mario, please. Okay, Mario, do you have to vacuum the carpet? Do you vacuum the carpet? Okay, what is your answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, Mario, please. Okay, now, this question to other person. 
do do you sweep the floor? Okay. Do you dust the furniture? Do you have do to you dust the furniture? Okay. Do you have to dust the furniture? Fabiola Enriquez, please answer. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, Fabiola. Next one. Next question. What is this one? Okay, make the bed. Do you make the bed? Okay, don't forget have to. Do you have to make the bed? Okay, do you have to make the bed? Excellent. Okay, let me see. Uh, Daniela Borja, answer please. Do you have to make the bed? Okay, Daniela Borja. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay, let's check. Next one. Uh, let me see, Gerardo, activate your sound, please. Give me the question with this expression. Hello? Hello? Do you have to wash the dishes? Okay, do you have to wash the dishes? Okay, Ricardo Gamero, answer. Do you have to wash the dishes? Um, no. No, I. No, I. Don't. Don't. Okay, no, I don't. Excellent, good job. So let's see now, Daniel Rivera, please activate your sound and give me the question to this expression, set the table. Okay, Daniel, activate your sound, please. Okay, let me see. Ari, help me please. What is the question to this expression? Do you... Do you set the table? Okay, do you have to say the, set the table? Carlos Armando, answer. Do you have to say the table today, Carlos? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, okay, excellent, good job. So let's see, check this part, okay. When you, uh, let me see, ask a question with have to, check this part, please. Okay, you have the auxiliary, do, okay, in that part, yes. And then you use the expression have to, okay. And then you use the verb or the expression that we learn in classes, wash the dishes. For that reason you say, do you have to wash the dishes? Yes, I do. Do you have to set the table? Yes, I do. Do you have to mop the floor? Yes, I do. Do you have to make the bed? No, I don't, okay? All of this one, you use one question, you also have two, okay? It is necessary to use the auxiliary do or does, okay? And then you use the pronoun, and then you use have to. And at the end, you put the expression that we learn in classes, okay? Do you have to or does? Uh, she have to, or does he have to? It's going to be necessary that we learn. And the short answer, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, we have the different expression in that part. Okay, let's see. Today we only develop exercises on page number eight. Yes. Okay, tomorrow we continue with the next page and we practice a lot. Okay, I don't know if you have some question or doubts about this topic. Okay, no? Okay, Carlos Armando says no. Excellent, so let's see. Now, please write your attendance. Okay, you are present okay, in the chat, please. Carlos Armando, Daniel Auerbach, Adriana Barahona, Fernando Bermúdez, Daniela Borja, Cristian Córdoba, Carlos Cornejo, Mario Díaz, Josué Flores, Esther Guardado, Fabiola Enríquez, Anderson López, Diego López, Daniela Marín, Ivania Mejía, Ariela Molina, Jaime Molina, Axel Moreira, Mariana Esther Navas, Gaby Ortiz, Elías Rafael Pérez, eh, Ricardo Gamero, Mía Rivera, Daniel Rivera, Gerardo Romero, Santiago Sigüenza y Gerson Velázquez. Ok, excelente. 
thank you very much. Okay, see you tomorrow in the next classes. Yeah, see you on reading and an EFL tomorrow. Thank you very much for participating a lot. Have a nice morning. Okay, okay, thank you. Bye bye. Glad to see you today. Thank you. Bye bye.